Hey, my powerful Aquarius, welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, go ahead, like, and subscribe. And if this not, hey, family, welcome back. This is for all of the Aquarius sun, moon, and rising, okay? This is going to be whatever spirit wants you to know at this particular time, okay? Mm. Messages of clarity and truth for our beautiful, powerful Aquarius. What is it that Aquarius should know right now? Messages of clarity and truth, most high. Should our Aquarius know? Ooh, okay. So the first thing that did turn over was uh, the death card. So Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio season. But yes, I feel like you're you're there's an end that has happened. Aquarius, it could be in in a relationship, a situation, or maybe just the end in a way you you decide to do something. I feel like you there 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 had to be an ending for a new beginning to take place. And right now you're in this transformative mode. Um, it's like from from old to new, from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Right now, I feel like you're in the middle of that process of finding out what that new is or what you desire the new to be. The next card I do see is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is the energy of, of being sneaky. I feel like Aquarius, maybe there's something that had to end because it wasn't stable. And I feel like right now it's putting you in the energy of having to address uh, some type of sneaky behavior that you probably didn't want to, but has come out because it was the energy of four, five, six. Like moving away from... A situation that at one point really uh, maybe you thought was going to be promising, but then you realize it was something that had to be discovered. Maybe Aquarius is something you needed to discover within yourself or it was something that you needed to discover about someone else. Yeah, messages of clarity. What is our powerful Aquarius? It was something hidden from you that I feel like has come to light. And now since you are now here in the in the place to actually recognize it and address it, now something new can come from it, Aquarius. I do see the Ace of Wands. So this is the energy of something ended in the past with you, Aquarius. It could have been uh, around a sneaky behavior. Uh, it is, the Seven of Swords is third party situation. Uh, could be dealing with one, one one person, one business going to the next or, or, or one relationship um, going to another. And I feel like right now, it's like you could be wanting to reignite some type of passion with something or someone that ended in the past. And it's like now you're hoping it's like not knowing how to go into a new beginning with a particular person that it could have ended with or just leaving it alone. But I feel like you're kind of like sneaky, kind of easing up to it. Like I'm about to like, like you really want to have some type of passionate connection with someone. Spirit, what is the death card? Yeah, I feel like right now, whatever the situation was with the Nine of Pentacles, this has, oh, oh, if you if, if this is you, I feel like right now you've been so focused on yourself, Aquarius, on your money, on your finances. And it's like, and I feel like right now you could be reliving, relashing or understanding a particular situation that could have happened in the past and ended. And now you are really trying to just focus on what is best for you, what is good for you. And with these Eight of Pentacles, it's like, okay. Because the Eight of Pentacles is under the Seven of Swords. So it's like, okay, I need to see what is going to work for me and what isn't. What sneakiness is working and what isn't. It's like, let me, I, it's like a self-evaluation for me, Aquarius. I feel like right now you're just self-evaluating what it is that you truly desire, what it is that you can, that can truly come from a particular situation that ended. And I do see justice here. So this is the energy of wanting to do right by someone or something that maybe in the past, um, could have been wrong or that you feel like you could have wronged, they could have wronged you, but it's, it's the energy of really reflecting, seeing your darker side. And I feel like whatever the situation was, the death of a situation really put you face to face with yourself. And now it's like wanting to balance out something, uh, so that you could have this ace, ace of wands this passionate beginning because whoever whatever situation this is it is playing on your mental and you feel like maybe they they mentally stimulate you all right aquarius that's all i got if that resonated go ahead like and subscribe and go check out your other signs sun moon and rising i love you have a wonderful day mm -hmm.